Uh, I became involved first at the state level, you know, working my way up, you know, serving on committees, being a, a chair of a committee. And then I had the opportunity to fill a spot on PPL committee at the national level. And that really opened my eyes to everything that our association does at the national level for our members. And it, it was fantastic. Um, I became very enthusiastic and excited and wanted to participate more. So I went back and I did more at the state level and you know went through secretary treasurer vice president uh, president elect president and gained some leadership experience there and that provided me the springboard to take the next step to become at the national level uh, serve as the mid-east regional director and serving on the board of directors for sna is amazing i encourage everybody to try take that leap if that's what you want to do and when i was on the board of directors I also got to serve on the executive committee. And again, it showed me just another little side of the association and further excited me to want to do, do even more. So all of these experiences have come together to really prepare me to be the vice president for SNA. When we reach out of ourselves and have these open, honest dialogues, we grow as an association. And we want to be there to serve all members and to make sure that all members are valued. So I think it's very important to be, um, have a really good process and be deliberate in your um, procedures of how you want to get to that open and diverse and inclusive association. It all comes back again to our membership. They are the heart and soul of who we are. Without them, we are not an association. And it's very important and I pledge to everyone that I will work collaboratively with our members, with our committees, and be a listener. I would love to do out at during state visits focus groups because once you learn what our members really expect from us, then you can begin to go back to your strategic plan. I'd love to see our membership get to 60,000. So I think I would set that as a new goal. I believe the biggest challenge I had was um, several years ago having to make a decision to restructure our office. We weren't making progress um, in our programs like we needed to and didn't necessarily have the right people in the right places. But ultimately we have to make the decisions that are best for our programs and services to our, our students. I'm very happy that we have an amazing child nutrition team now and our program is moving forward. We're doing fun, engaging things and it's a joy to be at work uh, with my my team every single day. I am passionate about SNA. Um, I wouldn't be running for vice president if this is not something I truly wanted to do and to serve our members. Um, I have leadership experience, I have enthusiasm, and I just want to take our association to the next level and be the person to help guide it for a while. And I will serve so diligently and passionately for our members and work with our members to help them have a great experience in SNA and help identify new future leaders and give them the opportunity to have mentors to work with them so they can be contributors to SNA. A part of this is also about having fun. Um, it's serious work, but you can have a great time doing it. So I just want everyone to know those are my goals as SNA Vice President, and I'm going to give it my all.